the axilla or in layman language or also in the latin it is known as armpit in day to day talking when we talk in layman's language this is known as the armpit but the word axilla is derived from the armpit but really the axilla is not armpit the axilla is a pyramidal space hollow space extending from the neck the root of the neck up to this part which is known as armpit or sometimes axilla also it is truncated pyramid when we abduct the arm it looks like a truncated pyramid three sided truncated pyramid so when arm is abducted it seems like a three sided truncated pyramid so it is having four walls the anterior wall the posterior wall the medial wall the lateral wall and it is having a base this is the base of the axilla extending from this anterior and this is the posterior axillary fold apex apex is not a pointed apex is having triangular opening which connects the thoracic inlet also known as upper thoracic aperture and the axilla is the truncated having anterior wall median wall and the posterior wall so how the axilla looks like So this is the shape of the axilla which is having a pyramidal shape pyramidal shaped this is the base the base of the axilla and here i will draw the manubrium the sternum xiphoid process the clavicle of the right and the left side
first rib, the second rib, which is attached on the manubrio-sternal junction, also known as the sternal angle, the third rib, the fourth rib, and here it is, the fifth rib. So rib number one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> now, how this space is formed? This space is formed. So this is the apex the anterior wall which has been removed from here to here the medial wall and the wall which can be seen here is the posterior wall and the lateral wall is very narrow between the posterior and the anterior wall the anterior and the posterior walls are converging to form a narrow lateral wall in this diagram this is the base apex is here which is opening in the thoracic inlet this is the thoracic inlet the anterior wall which has been removed from or opened from this part of the medial wall so posterior wall is visible here The medial wall is here and the posterior wall can be seen here. this narrow gap between the posterior wall between the anterior wall so posterior wall and the anterior wall both are converging to form the narrow lateral wall so this is the lateral wall So pyramid is having medial wall, the base and apex, the posterior wall, the lateral wall and the